Tonight's Capital Connection, state lawmakers return to Richmond today for the first day of the 2022 session. This time, power in the General Assembly is split. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco is live at the state capitol to unpack priorities and with what COVID precautions are being taken. Jackie, good evening. Hey, Eric. Well, the General Assembly hasn't met back here at the state capitol for a regular session since COVID first hit back in 2020. Now, even as cases are surging, it does appear unlikely that a fully virtual format would resume based on some House rules that were approved today. But lawmakers who are showing symptoms, as well as the general public, can participate in the legislative process remotely. Today, a 60-day General Assembly session starting in a now-divided government. The new speaker, Todd Gilbert, taking charge in the House of Delegates after Republicans reclaimed power. And I pledge to you to be a speaker for all of Virginia, for this whole body. My door will always be open. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax presiding over the Democrat-controlled Senate for one of the last times. Before Republican Winsome Sears takes the podium next week. Both chambers sparring over COVID precautions, with no mask mandate in the House and disagreement over plexiglass dividers in the Senate. Meantime, as Republicans look to reverse some recent changes on voting rights, gun control, clean energy, and criminal justice reform, Democrats are on defense, says former House Speaker Eileen Fillercorn. We have made so much progress the last two years. I am incredibly proud of how we have uh, passed legislation that have truly impacted the lives of Virginians. And I can assure you today that we will make sure that all of that progress is not rolled back. Both parties looking for compromise on the future of recreational marijuana sales. Also sharing some common ground on tax cuts, says Republican Senator Steve Newman. I think we're going to start off with tax conformity really early. I think that's going to be a bipartisan bill. And I hope that spirit continues to move through. In morning press conferences, House Republicans and Senate Democrats saying education is a top priority. But already, the debate over expanding school choice is proving tense. Parents are deeply concerned about the education their children are receiving. And that's why education is a huge part of our 2022 agenda. We're not going to compromise our principles, and our principles are going to require us to make sure that we don't take money away from our public schools. And the new Republican governor-elect, Glenn Youngkin, will need to sign off on any bills that do make it out of the General Assembly session. He gets sworn in on Saturday on Inauguration Day. And after that, lawmakers will be focused on confirming his cabinet picks so that that new administration can get going. Live at the Capitol tonight, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.